Why is there a pig on our couch? Colin. <sighs> oh, not again. Uh, oh, hey, Big B. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm in your chair, huh? Yeah. I've only got the one. So, yeah. You can come, you can come, uh, come snuggle with you on the, uh, on the chair. There's plenty of room. Got a smoke? Fairy tale it creeps from. A couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. <laughs> this has gotta stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? I can't give you a free pass. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. Sorry, buddy. That for me? Nope. <laughs> the house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes? It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. <laughs> nice. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with <laughs> the selfishness with the bourbon. Hey, bourbon's but, delicious. Uh, no, um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Uh, they were delicious. Well, I, won't, I don't regret anything. It's fair. But it's real. People are scared of you. That I one chick isn't. Look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Yes. Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. <laughs> Big B. You think my job Big is and, uh, easy? You try to keep a bunch good, uh, of fables from killing each other. These, these guys you have a good relationship, I think. I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, that's not, not true. Everyone. Name one. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself, but I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Can Wait, I give him some? That doesn't make Just sense. give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Can I just what? give him a drink? If I give you this. 
Will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. <laughs> Here you go, Colin. Take this drink, you piggy ba you fat piggy bastard. Thanks, Big B. You enjoy that bourbon. You enjoy it. They say he, him and Colin seem to have a, a good relationship. I think they could be friends. Oh, God damn it! I just want to sleep. I'm coming. Oh, it's probably that chick. See, I clean up quite well. Big B. Snow. Come with me. Hmm. Okay. Snow. Where Snow. We going? What? Where are we Sorry, going? Sorry, I'm. What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. Who's that guy? These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Okay. Shit is apparently going down, and that guy probably wasn't a fable, if I had to guess. She's been unlocked. Wolf and Sheriff's clothes. I thought I was a sheriff. There's something under it. Oh, Jesus! No. You knew this girl? No! Is... She's not a Mundy, right? Oh my Who God. was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. A working girl? A working girl? I don't... I mean, I'm a working... Oh. Yeah, that kind of working. The, uh, put stuff in her mouth kind of working girl. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. We gotta look it's at... It's just... Uh, terrible. Did you see anything? So, did you see anyone else? No. No one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but... No. I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P, did one of... us... Do this? Not there hasn't sure. been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Exactly. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Well, first thing we have first, we gotta check what kind of cut decapitation it is. Is it an axe cut? Is it a Let's examine the neck. Strange cut. What did this to her? Like what could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. Uh, something in her mouth. What is... It's a ribbon. And a ring. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Hmm. 
She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. Hmm. What kind of monster would do this? Something... Someone with a sharp weapon... Oh, blood strains. Someone with a sharp weapon or magic. Uh... I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> hmm. Um, what... What do you want to do next? I need you to go away. I'm gonna investigate more. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Let's, uh... Oh, I really liked her, too. Damn it. Hey, Snow. You alright? Yes. Thanks. But you should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. Uh, I really liked her. Uh, she was coming to see me, too. Okay, well, obviously it means I have to go this way. Blood. Drops of blood. We haven't seen many people, so there She's most likely is someone we've seen. Or maybe. Um, we had we had Beast. We had Beauty. Um, Beauty could have potentially done it. Scrap the fabric. No signs that it's been here long. Um, it could be the fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Could be the uh... oh, looks like blood on top of that. It's in it's the name of the trash can. This is like the detective, uh, detective Just mystery. Loose trash. Some more blood. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Okay, someone potentially has a cut. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Huh. Can I jump it? I'm surprised the garbage men can even find their way here. Hmm. 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 Oh, nope, don't want to do that. Okay. Found blood, some cloth. Okay, okay. <laughs> what are you can doing? Can I help you? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Well, Big P, hopefully. do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Hmm. It's just so awful. It's probably this a message. Is a message. A message? I don't know, Big B. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? Mm -hmm. Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement mm -hmm. of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Someone well, who knows maybe of yes. the fables? I guess you're right. And wants to kill them all? The killer wanted us to know what they had done. Oh, I really liked her, damn it. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going him. to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. Let's just wait a little we bit. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that, and I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. 
That sounds reasonable, but I don't know. I'm the big bad wolf. Well, what I say goes. I just don't want him interfering. What I say goes. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Uh, I wonder if there's anything I could... Probably nothing I could have done to save her. Damn it. The long goodbye. Achievement unlocked. I might have to play through this again after I finish it. Just to take a gander and see if it's possible to save her. But that scumbag right there came out of nowhere. What, are you blind? Yeah, uh, no. Nope. You don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Yeah, I do. Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I don't have time for this. Yeah, you and all the rest of them in there. Fucker. <laughs> fuck you too, dude. Piece of shit. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, this of course crap. I Don't do. interrupt crap, me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly Back up. around here. Bastard. This is a disaster. Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Bigby. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life. What? And the Can't protect of everyone you said. Community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence, you two know what the hell you're doing. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. <laughs> m, m massage. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. I don't like the Ichabod. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. <laughs> Fuck off. We'll get on it right away, sir. No. No. I had to you tell him. You just pissed him off more. Fuck him. All right. This guy's a dick. Well, that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Yeah, you should have. I wasn't gonna say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Uh-huh. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. The mere scent of stress, and he's out the door. Is... is he gone? Yeah, yes, he's gone. Yes, thankfully. <laughs> he's got the one. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Ichabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Good job, buddy. High five. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. The Buffkin. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. All of the books! I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. I guess we're gonna be looking through books for heads. 
He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere? Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff confines them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. <laughs> mirror, mirror on the really wall. Who does this head belong to? Squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Ooh, Vivian. A lamp. Hi. No white. Hi. Can I get three wishes? It's <laughs> a try. Yes, that's right. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps. After the genie's been freed. No, that's no fun. Can I rub it again? Maybe get a rub three times. Yeah. Give it a good old rubbing. Rub job. Tee hee tee hee. Worth a try. <laughs> listen to a tee hee tee come out of there. Tee hee tee hee tee. Hey, I hear you over there. Get out of here. Tee hee tee. Don't you just look like the dapper gentleman? Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, was that so yes. hard? Yes. Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. <laughs> There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? The one that belongs to this head. Uh, woodman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Snow. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Hey, it doesn't hurt. Buffkin. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> Damn Buffkin. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do... Can I show you the I head? I can't help you. Buffkin. Show me Buffkin. You better be working. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. You're a goddamn liar. You're not looking at all. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Okay. About time. Maybe you would have been quicker if you stopped drinking so heavily. Oh, and then you fail to drop everything. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Silly buffkin. Alright, I guess it's uh, time to look through the fables. Right? We'll be here for a while. Ichabob Crane. That name sounds familiar. I don't know where I know it from, but it sounds familiar. There's probably a fairy tale I've heard it from. Bob Crane, Ica Bob Crane, Ica Bob Crane. I don't know. What's this? Oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. Sure. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin. Thanks, Translate. Buffkin. Hmm, an exquisite design from the Good China of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. <laughs> uh, boop. What's this? What's Elvish text? About that? It says Bricklebit in an older Elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? It makes animals shit gold. <laughs> That's fantastic. This Brickle looks bit. familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing. I only translate. Let's say. This looks familiar. Yes, 
from the Axe of the Woodsman, a okay, druid skip it. blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing. I only translate. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, it's a ring. Ho ho. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. Oh, that's a... No, don't do that. Um. How do I... How do I... Oh, controls, controls, controls. Headings. Controls. Select it. Select action, select the inventory, use control, select action. Okay. Hmm. Okay, well. Okay. We looked at that. Nothing left over there. What's our... Do, do, do. That looks a bit like our ring, I think. This is the one. What is this? Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairairo? I'll go look it up. Alairairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> Also known as <laughs> Askin, <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was. Uh, her daughter? The daughter? His daughter. Oh. Faith. Oh, my. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Well. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. It's kind of sad. No. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We okay. got what we came for. That's a lead. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. Okay. You think he did it? Probably not. Can't rule Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. Hmm. I doubt it's the husband. I doubt it was a lumberjack. A pimp. Any information on fables in our community I will bet her be husband was a pimp. these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. There's us, Bigsby. Hmm. Me. It's, uh, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. <laughs> Snow White, Seven Dwarfs, the Huntsman, Little Red Riding Hood. Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Oh. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. Three pigs. Colin and his brothers. Oh, there's her. Yeah, that's her, all right. Long time ago. Mother, I think, or father, and her. <laughs> Ichabod Crane. Ah! Scared shit. That's who it was. That? Your boss. His finest moment. I remember now. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Yeah, screw that guy. There's the toad and a badger. What is the toad from? Nice hat. That is a nice hat. I like it. I haven't seen badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. 
I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Okay, is there anyone else to investigate? I guess the beast. Beast. Beauty. Beauty and the beast. Huntsman. Hi, buddy. The woodsman? Yep. Oh, woodsman. And his axe. Is that it? Oh, seven dwarves. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Man, they look so creepy. Is that everyone? Anyone else? Hello? It looks like... Oh, there's paint. I was like, some random person up there? Okay. All right. Huh. Okay. All right. So we have some ideas. Ah, oh, the question is, who is it going to be? 